It's Thursday morning, the chip is running now onto the pile of brash. Dave's hopefully going to get rid of that today as long as we... No, I'm not going to say it. Dave's going to get rid of that pile today. Going to put this, I think, here in the sprayer because then I'm going to wash the sprayer out. It's too wet to do any spraying. But I was on glyphosate last and the next thing I'll be doing is probably spraying the wheat with some micronutrients and a little bit of... Um, straw shortener to slow it down a little bit some of the forward stuff so i'll get this put in here and mess about with that lads hopefully loads of straw feels a little bit wet but we need a load of straw going out tomorrow it wasn't frozen enough yesterday we went on the field yesterday thinking it was frozen it wasn't really I thought it might have dried up a little bit today anyway it hasn't so we're just gonna have to load it make a bit of a mess but the field kind of needs receding anyway so i'm gonna rather than screw holes in that i've got got some of them sticky pads so i'm gonna Put them on the back of the brackets and just glue it in there we go i'm trying to put them in the same place in the cab as everything so basically if you say go and get a fire extinguisher they're always going to be behind your left shoulder in every cab and also visible from from outside the glass don't forget as well we've got them on our website we've got we've um, we've done a deal with them so you can buy them off our website as well yeah it's very wet the field so we're going to put the trailer in the yard and then just sneak in here and just get them under the stacks okay the problem is we didn't have enough hay caps for there so they're a bit wet so we've got to reject the top four bales but the bottom four are all right they're okay it's just a marks on the ends but but the middle's perfect but we've just got to get in so it's only for burning for a biomass boiler you see how wet the floor is flashes coming off the wheel out there just take it out get a new seal and get the bucket just working again oh look yeah it gets too much pressure and flicks the seal around doesn't it a bit laster oh, oh does that mean it's spring if there's a butterfly about it that just will hatch you out all right dan see I you later mate thanks buddy all right oh, oh. can't fly Quick change, next stop, NFU meeting to discuss hopefully these ludicrous changes to the regions where they could see the northwest and the northeast combined, which would make a region that goes from um, basically Crewe to Northumberland. Three and a half, four hours between the two. Absolutely ridiculous idea. So um, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can come up with a plan to, to to basically keep the regions the same. I can understand closing the offices to save money, but actually amalgamating a region of that scale with the Pennines down the middle is, is just absolutely crazy, especially from a crop's point of view. Just at Malpas Tracks, it's picking up some stuff for the Merlot, Mini Merlot, and they've got a 3610 in with cab suspension by the looks of things, so I wonder how cheap that is. Got fast track and some trailers like ours as well. Back now from the NFU meeting, lots of interesting conversation, mainly regarding around the changes that might be coming down the track within NFU. The general consensus in the room was that it's going to remove the NFU a bit further away from its members, not closer to them, which is what the plan was. We don't think it, it's completely thought out. Um, so there's some, what's the word? New ideas going to be going to be sent in to, to see if that can be changed. But if anyone knows anything about it, got any thoughts, let me know in the comments. I don't want to say too much because it's it's stuff that, um, I'm not saying it's confidential, but it might not never happen, so there's no point in, in, in dwelling on it too much. But but one thing's for certain that the direction of what's been proposed isn't ideal. It's for long term uh, member engagement, shall we say, within the NFU. Is our belief of the people that I have spoken to. I've only found one person that, that thinks it's going to be beneficial out of 50, 60, 70, 80 people maybe I've spoken to. So, yeah. Anyway. Back with the day of farming. While I've been away, someone has brushed the yard. I'm sure if it was Andrew, because I think Rob's been fixing the bucket brush. The diesel, the, the chipper, sorry, has been running okay today, although it is now short of diesel. So they've just filled, took it around and filled it up with diesel. So the brush motor that Rob was working on, we changed the main seal, but the other seal's still weeping and it's a bit of a funny kind. So we took the motor to the hydraulics place and they're going to have a quick look at that and see if they can check the motor out first. 
exactly if it's worth putting the seal in or whether it's actually worn inside the motor. So just drop that off with them. Um, trying to work out whether it's worth going collecting them steps we went to look at yesterday or we're going to get soaked moving them because it looks like it's going to rain again. Just come in the office and it looks like Ian is already on with sorting the motor out so maybe there's some bad news come back from the hydraulics place. Uh, Matt, Andrew's just finishing off now with a mini Merlo, going around the grids so it's not put silt and punch it down them. Just. Um, I'm going to go and see if I'll blow the tyre up on the 1455 but I want one of the uh, lines that fits into the Suzy's on the back of one of the tractors so I think there's one in here and there isn't and there isn't one there either which is really annoying because last summer I made sure that the two fence and the fast track all had an airline in them disappeared right I found one but the end's been chopped off it I think it was when we were doing air runs for the tractor run but I have got some spurs somewhere but I can't find them, I need to tidy my bench, my work with my toolbox off. So I'm gonna have a good route. Can't find what I'm looking for, but I found two rolls of that, which is what I was looking for this morning, so that's a bonus. Giving up with that tire now, Rob's looking at her receiver around, and blew it up, but it's not quite hard enough. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow, everyone's had enough because it's been wet and we've been tidying up anyway. But someone was saying yesterday that the light bracket of this trailer was overcomplicated. Well, that, there's a reason for that. I'll show you. So they were saying, why is it just not square? Well, the, the reason is, is it doesn't, if you tip grain and it splashes up, it falls straight out. Even this, it's got a plastic bush in there and the guard doesn't go all the way to here because again, you'd get stuff going in through these grills and then living on the top. But it's obviously designed, it's all, like, even these are round and not square. So anything that flows in just falls completely off. So yeah, it is overcomplicated design, but it's to make your day easier in the summer because everything's just falling out of it. A bit like these, when you're spreading muck, these guards hinge down and protect the lights so you don't get all this splatter all over the lights. And then when you go on the road and you shut the door, this arm goes up and down and lifts these up and then you can see the lights then in here. Someone's obviously thought about it all. Just looking at this. So if you look at these tires, they're obviously overinflated. A few people did say, but they weren't completely gripping on the floor the other day when we were pulling against the Zerion. So if you, if you let them down a little bit, you get the full tread depth gripping. So maybe we do it again one day and change it with different tire pressures. Yeah, it's probably enough to drive it round to the workshop, but someone's took the top link because the standard top link wasn't long enough. And I think we have the one that's now on the front of the fence on it, but I need a longer top link to make it fit. And I think I might convert it back to the Merlot, but also on eBay at the moment is a truck sweeper with like the suction thing on the side for sucking the grids out. So because we've got a bucket brush for the Merlot and we've got the broom, we it's all right that if you've got it on front linkage, but I think I think a truck one with a thing for sucking the grids out might be better. So if any, I might sell that, I don't know. So if anyone's interested, let me know. But it's probably like five or six grams worth, maybe. But um, the, the truck one, because it's got a suction on it, we can use it in the boiler room. We can plug a big pipe into it and use it like a big hoover for sucking ash up and wood chips. So it'd be a bit handier and a bit more useful because like I say, we have got the bucket brush, but on the road, on the front linkage, that's good because you can go the same way as the traffic. Are you ready for the today's birthday bumper? We've got Matt Denby on there, old man granddad, Patrick Comerford is 12, Jacob, J Jacob Duge, I can't pronounce it, sorry. Andrew Johnson, Elliot Haynes, ERH services. So that's the GPS guy that put the GPS on the mower. So he's actually put his full title on there, he's 46. Elsie Ralph is one, David Grice. So he used to work at Birch's, which was the case dealership in Rainford when we used to have case tractors years ago. Edward Lloyd, Damien Tart is 19 and Ben Baxter is 18. So happy birthday, everyone on there. If you want to be on the birthday bumper, there's a link below every single video for like the last year. And also you could scan that QR code if you really wanted. But yeah, we're well on the way to the 30 grand, which is amazing. So will we make it? Hopefully. By, that's by doing it a year, 30 grand within a year, which is a lot of money. It's like a really good salary for someone, isn't it? And more importantly, it's about 10 
missions which potentially have saved people's lives from the air ambulance which is great fast tracks all loaded up with some straw to go in the morning for the guy with the chickens today in the meeting I talked to a guy who has a poultry unit and he was saying that how a lot of the sheds are empty because they can't get insurance now because of avian flu so that basically means that if they were to get avian flu the, the flock would be wiped out it could be under a thousand quid and they used to be able to insure for it because it's so rife they can't get it so they're basically a lot of poultry farmers because they're losing money anyway because they, they've, they've gone up chickens in the supermarket but they haven't gone up to them so they can't afford the risk of heating the sheds getting avian flu and everything but apparently there's a lot of chicken coming in from the, from the moment from the ukraine as well which is also keeping the prices down but there is going to be poultry shortages within the next 12 months there's no doubt about it because of the sheer numbers that are empty and also the fact that people just can't take the risk of stocking the sheds so is the government going to step in and do something who knows probably not anyway that's about it for today i'll see you tomorrow actually it's not the end one last thing before you go we have got some new merch in stock and trying to logo new logo on some of the hats as well so they're on the website now ian's put them on today along with the fire extinguishers as well check them out buy one i've had a tax bill and i don't even want to think about the fertilizer bill that's on its way as well but anyway it is the end now thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow Actually, it's not the end and there's still more to add because what's happened today is some of the farmers in Holland, Dutch farmers, have set up a political party and they've just won a lot of votes so that they've now actually got a sway within their parliament. It's huge news, which is great for them. But um, I don't only get political, but because of this current state of UK politics, maybe we should have um, you know, a political party for farming. Perhaps Jeremy Clarkson might want to be the leader of it. Who knows? What do you reckon? Should we get enough of us together and try? That's the end anyway. I'll see you tomorrow.